like sniper ranger type figures. And Zerian Spire definitely ticks that box. For a little bit of backstory, Zerian Spire is like a biochemist or was a biochemist on her home world. She created like this revolutionary regenerative formula, but then it got taken and used for some nefarious uh, reasons rather than um, what she necessarily made it for. Uh, now she is a member of the Havokatar prison, or she is, I should say, like captured in the Havokatar prison and is one of the fighters in the Grave Ring Coliseum. With that covered, let's get right into the appearance. I think Zirian looks fantastic. The head sculpt here is really just kind of awesome. I love the blue. I love the dots. Really gives us a unique, uh, unique look to it. The hair is also, I think, really, uh, really done well. Nicely textured. Paint job is great on the head body. She does honestly share some parts with the engineer, which I was a little unhappy about the engineer um, and how they came out. Um, <clears throat> articulation and everything was fine. Really what I, my problem with the engineer was the flimsiness of the hands on every single engineer that I have, and that is not a problem that I've had with Zeri and Spire yet, so I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. I had no problem with the articulation or the general sculpt of the engineer, but you can see the bracers are shared. The belts are shared, the legs are shared, top and bottom. Um, feet are shared, uh, the top uh, and the bottom chest torso are actually shared as well. You can see a little bit better on the back here. It's just that she has a, a thing on top of there. So Zeri Inspire is kind of a stripped down but more detailed and better painted uh, version of the uh, Tusk Engineer. And honestly, what sets her apart from the Engineer for me is the paint job and the fact that her hands are not absolutely destroying themselves every time I swap them. And I've swapped them quite a few times. Uh, she has quite a few hands, so we'll, we'll be talking about that. Articulation-wise, I know we've already gone over the Engineer, and I said, just said they basically have the same body, but we'll go over her as well. Arms go up about 90 degrees. They bend at 90 degrees as well. Um, there is a swivel here in the gauntlet. You can also swivel here. Um, hands, do the normal hand bending thing. Let's see, they're hinged, so they only move in one direction. Torso moves a little bit down. Well, oh, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty decent, actually. And uh, decently backwards. And then it, it also pivots there. Um, waist also does a pivot, and the waist does not move really up and down. Uh, you can, using, but just using that upper torso, and I guess the little bit that the waist does move, uh, you can get a pretty decent downward, a pretty decent, decent backwards bend. Legs come really far out, go very far forward, go very far backwards as long as you're willing to push this out a little bit. It's a rubbery belt, so you're, you should be good. Bend the knee, that's going to be a 90 degree bend. Not the best, but it gets her into the positions that we need her in or that we want to put her in as a sniper and a pistol dual wielder in my opinion. And then the legs, feet. Very far forward, very far backward, and as seems to be tradition with this line, very great rotation on those feet, on those ankles. We'll end up with the head right here. Head can go decently backwards, not very far forwards at all. Like there's no bending or anything. Uh, you can tilt a tiny bit to the left and right. Of course it swivels all the way around, and that's about it. No complaints there. Looks pretty good to me. For accessories, we have her weapons, which includes this sniper rifle. Uh, you'll notice that this is the same type of sniper rifle that the uh, Tusk sentries had, but this one is actually painted. It's got like a, it's a, it's got like a dark paint on it and then like a dry brush of a goldish brass color. But then the actual stock here is painted to look almost like wood or bone. Really like that touch. And we also uh, have a strap here that will go around her body. Uh, and I like that touch a lot as well. 
she comes with the same two pistols that a lot of the other characters in this wave come with. But again, they have a dark paint on them with a light gold or brass rub or dry brush. It looks good. They have the holes for mounting as well as the long and short little plastic tubes that go on those weapons so that they can mount to her. And then as far as where she actually has those mounting holes, uh, she has two on her shoulder, uh, two on her uh, wrist pegs, and then two behind her. That's actually one of the long ones. That's why you don't want to use the long ones with the pistol. You want to use the short ones, otherwise they stick out like kind of crazy. But those are the only four pole, uh, four pegs that she has on her. You can use those four pegs or you can use those wrist pegs she does not come with the little blasters like a lot of people do but she comes with this pink um holographic planet and i think that's really cool like i said these are all swappable so if you buy the entire wave or you have multiple figures that do have the holograms you can mix and match your holograms with each individual figure um so you can have Oleg thigar looking at a planet, or you can have her looking at Oleg Vygar's model of the ship. She also comes with an additional head, and the additional head has her hair up in like a bun with one long tendril down the front. Paint job is awesome on it. Same kind of articulation as the other head has, maybe a little bit more because the hair is up. Let's see. Uh, no, not much more, honestly. Nah. Uh, what this hair is mostly used for, though, is she's got this this tied back hair, like this, like, let's get to business hair or whatever, uh, because she does have this little rebreather, gas mask, whatever you want to call it. It does not fit on the long-haired head just because the sculpt of the hair prevents it from actually like making contact around the rest of the, the head. So what we can do is we can take this other head and we just slip this on there. And you can see it's got, it's got a little slot for her ears and stuff. It just goes right over her face. And then we just slip that head on there like that. And now she's got like a rebreather or like a, an extra mask on. The other benefit of using this head is the last real accessory that she comes with is going to be this cape. Uh, it's really awesome. It's got the um, insignia, I think, of the Mortal Thorn, which is the uh, secret organization that she's a member of on there. And you can just put that on her and snap it. And the hood fits a lot better with this hat on. The cape is wired, so you can have it kind of going any way that you want it to. You can make it look like it's being blown in the wind. Um, and this is just an aesthetic that I really love on figures. I love like the mysterious cloaked stranger, you know, that kind of aesthetic. Put her sniper rifle on top of there. And man, that's one compelling masked stranger. have this just come down uh, because of the wired cape you can kind of have it any way you want and that's what I really like about that now you'll notice that I did skip hands on her um, and that is true and the reason that I did that is because she really only comes with two sets of hands she comes with the basic set of trigger fingers that she comes within the box these go up and down and then she comes with an additional set of trigger finger hands that move laterally, left and right. So you can have her holding guns either way. Um, but the thing about this wave is uh, sometimes Four Horsemen does additional accessory packs, especially for 
uh, like the standalone figures like these. If you want additional hands, additional accessories, uh, oftentimes Four Horsemen will release those with the waves as well. When you buy this wave, you have the option of buying an additional seven pairs of hands for her, as well as an additional uh, seven pairs of hands for one of the other releases in the wave. And those are all represented here. So you have, let's see. So if you're going to buy both of these figures, why not throw in the extra seven pairs of hands? If you're only going to buy one, I don't know, I think seven pairs of hands still might be worth 20 bucks to you. We have a variety of open posing hands, uh, normal grabbing hands, uh, additional trigger finger hands for like different kinds of guns that are maybe bigger or differently shaped, a pair of closed fists, a pair of like grabbing hands that are not like grabbing grabbing but you know kind of um, claw of doom hands I guess. Uh, an additional pair of trigger fingers and an additional pair of grabbing hands. If you do buy the hands, then you can end up with her in a lot more uh, expressive or uh, interesting poses than just holding two guns or having an empty uh, gun holding hand. <laughs> All right, now for some size comparisons, let's go ahead and throw her next to High Warden Slug. Quite a bit smaller than High Warden Slug. Uh, same thing is obviously going to be the case for Kragnar who you can have her fighting in the gray ring. Let me pull back a little bit there. For an SH Figure Arts, here is SH Figure Arts Gohan. I think that that size difference is pretty passable there. For Mezco, we've got the Mezco 112 Collective. Black Skull. One thousand toys, Aerothrow. Uh, again, well, uh, he's actually pretty small compared to her, but you know, I think you could fudge it in a picture. And then a Figma, Sudoya Chan. Final thoughts: I think that she's one of the more interesting releases of the Cosmic Legions wave. I think that she is fun to pose and fun to have, and I think that. I'm just a really big fan of, like the, like I said, that ranger scout aesthetic, and she really fits that to a T for me. So not only was she one of my most anticipated releases, but she is one of the ones that I've been having the most fun with in the wave, uh, right up there with Oleg Thygar. And so I would definitely recommend her if you're interested in picking up at least several or some of the Cosmic Legions wave. I don't think that you should skip her. I think that she's definitely worth a pickup, especially for the price. Otherwise, that's about it for this review. You guys have a good one.